here we are looking at a Carter Day 48 inch fractionating aspirator. This unit is equipped with two motors, one for the fan and the other is for the infeed roller. The one on the fan is a single phase, five horsepower, 230 volt motor. The one on the infeed roller is a one third horsepower, 208, 220, 440 volt motor. The power going in to the VFD is single phase and it is converted to three phase. So this unit is an entirely single phase unit. The serial number for this unit is 168, style number CEY2-X. The unit is fed from the top. You would run your product through this hopper here, and it would fill up the internal hopper. This unit gives you four different fractions. The first fraction would be dropping out of the bottom here. That would be your heaviest fraction. Then you have your seconds, your third, and your fourth fraction. The fourth would be the lightest. These fraction doors are located on both sides of the unit. On this side, and also over here, just under the safety shield. Each of these fraction doors are equipped with a weight to keep them closed. It is important that they stay closed when in operation so that the air functions properly. And as the fractions fill up inside, they will open and allow the product to drop out. This adjustment here controls an internal damper inside the fan. You can open it and close it to either increase or decrease the air. The air controls gauge is located on the side of the fan. The adjustment for the internal duct is on the other side of the unit. To widen it, turn counterclockwise. To narrow it, turn clockwise. This gauge on the side helps you set the internal duct. This is your spring-loaded door that rests against the feed roller. If a large piece of foreign material were to get into the product being aspirated, it would allow it to open and drop it through. This adjustment on the back is for when you are aspirating lightweight commodities. We have updated this unit with a variable frequency drive. This helps you control the in-feed roller speed. You can slow it down or speed it up with this dial here. We're going to go ahead and start it with this switch right here. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the dial so you can see it. A very nice option. Here we have the unit running. 